So this is a thing that happened. So I haven't made a video in about a month, maybe two, I I don't know. But a lot of things have been happening throughout those months that I have not been making a video, and I'm here today to talk about it. Before I get into the topic that I am talking about today, I want to tell you guys about this web series I have been watching, and I just watched them back to back until it was all gone. It's MTV's Brawlist with Lacey Green, and if you don't know who Lacey Green is, what are you doing with your life? I'm going to leave a link to MTV's Brawlist and her channel down because she talks about really controversial topics like racism, sexism, gender identities, and gender stereotypes, and I just agree with everything she says, and you guys should really check them out. In recent news, you can see that a lot of white male cops have been shooting unarmed black people, and we're not too happy about that. Since 2012, when George Zimmerman shot Trayvon Martin, an unarmed an black person, you know, we have, you know, up the ante, I guess, and that's just been happening over and over and over again, and now they're not getting in trouble, they're not getting fired, they're not getting um, arrested, they're not going to jail for what they did, only because they are not only cops, but white, cis, men. In a world like this, it's just hard not to fall into the whole racism thing. You know, if you're not a white cis male, then what are you even doing here on earth? <laughs> no. No, you're not. Because of unarmed black people, you know, being just shot on sight, you know, and the people who shoot them not getting in trouble, not get, not being held responsible for it. You know, we rioted and bigoted and even created a hashtag. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. And it really does. And, you know, and since we created that, there are going to be a lot of people who try to backlash it by creating other things. You know, hashtag all lives matter, hashtag, um, even we even created a hashtag called hashtag blackout day when people of color, you know, just, you know, take pictures of themselves and post it on social media where they could just love themselves, you know, like, hey, I'm black, hey, I'm, I'm Asian, hey, I'm this or that, and I, I love myself, you know, I may not be white or, you know, straight or a male, but I'm beautiful because I'm black or because I'm, uh, different and of course like um you know the people they are they created a hashtag white out day because they were just so sad that they were kept out of the loop and of course they did and the people have seen like that's just so unfair you guys get a whole month of like ooh, black history month and then they're just like, you get a whole month. Like, it's always about you guys. You always try to make these, um, the victims. And, but the thing is, yeah, hashtag all lives do matter. But hashtag all lives are not the ones being shot on site when we are unarmed. Okay? So, yeah, hashtag black lives matter. Right? Yeah, hashtag black lives matter. And, you know, I think it's just like, you just don't get, you know, you know, we just, um, black people, as being black, we, um, we don't have a good, uh, like, kind of thing with police. We uh, get assaulted by police for driving. Um, we get the harsher punishment because we're black. We get followed around stores because we're black. We get, because they think we're stealing because we are black. And being white is just, you know, more simpler, especially if you're a male and you're a cis. You know, you just have the upper hand, and people just don't really get that. They just don't get racism. It's still here. It's still alive. And they just think, you know, since... Slavery is not, you know, not a thing anymore. Then racism is just automatically gone, and it's not, you know. Um, to be scared of people who are supposed to protect you, supposed to be protecting you, it's just, it's just we know that this world, this whole thing that we have right now, is just going really down here. When the people who are supposed to be protecting you is the one who are harming you, who are um, trying to hurt you, um, just because you are certain this or that, or because you're different than them. And uh, walk down the street and be afraid of somebody who is supposed to be, you know, protecting and serving in uh, our society and just be afraid that they're just going to shoot me <laughs> and then just walk away and not even get in trouble for it. It's just, it's just bad. It's just really bad. And the first step to that is just people know that they just don't get it. They don't get what it's like to be black and they don't get what it's like to be followed around by the police or shot on sight. 
So, yeah, hashtag all lives matter, but for right now, we're just going to keep it hashtag black lives matter until white cops stop shooting unarmed black people.